today we're talking about indexers and indexers are a way of encapsulating or hiding data much like a property in fact they're so close to a property it's almost tempting to call them a variation on a property like properties they have get and set accessors but unlike properties they have a property name uh, which have a property name they have just the keyword this which refers to the class itself and unlike properties or methods they have one argument the index that's contained inside square brackets like an array rather than parents like a method argument and the reason for this is indexers are really a way of turning a class into an array but a highly protective array that gives the programmer control over how the data is accessed. So uh, why don't we take a look at an exa actual example to make this more clear. I've created a class in this project called Indexers, Indexer Array and uh, the class Indexer Array has a public string this and then a square bracket in index square bracket and this is actually a way of referring to a private string array that's why it has the name string or the type string if we were going to refer to an int array or some other type array we would have this that type in this position and this refers to the indexer array class itself so it's saying let's turn the indexer array into an array rather than being a regular class and we define the index as int index it's all, always going to be int you don't have to give it the name index but it's a pretty good name and then you have to have two accessors just like a property get and set and get determines how you retrieve the data from the array that you're the handmaiden of and it simply has to return the array name so you're turning a private piece of data into something that you can access publicly and then the index is specified between the square brackets and the set is much the same way you have to have the uh, curly braces then the array name and then the index and then equals the keyword value So within the code, which is an event handler for a button, we instantiate the index array as with the object name IA, and then say equals new indexer array, parent parent, which is a standard way of instanti instantiating a class. And then we have a message box that says the value of the fourth element is, and then we just say the object name and a square bracket and an index 3. So if we look back at our uh, indexer array, there are zero base, so this would be 0, 1, 2, 3. So the name that this should print out is Carmel. And then to get back to the uh, button handler, we now do the uh, set method and just specify the class name a square bracket and three which is the same index we said before but this time we set that value equal to Karen so we've changed the array via the the set accessor and of course this would allow you to check the data and make sure it's the kind of data you're allowed to put in there just as the the get could change what you're allowed to display and I'll pop up a message box if it's outside the array limits and that kind of thing. So once we've changed element 3, we, which is really the fourth element, we have another message box that says the new value of the fourth element is, and then we print out using the uh, get accessor that value. So if we look at the form itself, all we have on it is one button that says test indexer. So let's compile and, and uh, run this program. We press text indexer and it says the fourth element is Carmel, which is the 
fourth name we saw. And then when I press OK, it's going to reset this element to, to Karen and then redisplay it in another message box. So I press OK and it says the new value of the fourth element is Karen. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot. And don't forget to subscribe.